are you going to use social engineering in your pen test? I sincerely hope so, because you'll get so many good results, even if you just do phishing. So let's talk about using social engineering in your penetration test as an ethical hacker. You want to test the strength of the human links in the security chain. You want to use that test to raise security awareness. Obviously, you're going to need to exercise care and caution. You're going to need to be professional about, about it. For social engineering to work, you have to have really good interpersonal and communication skills. You need to be creative and friendly and easy to talk to. And they, unless you do it on the phone, you got to make sure they can't identify you. Obviously, when you are setting up the authorization for pen testing, you include social engineering in it and you determine the scope of it. Like you say, okay, only employees, only during working hours, uh, no friends and family, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll gather a list of emails and contacts of predefined targets. And um, you won't ask the company necessarily for the emails, but you'll find them the way a black hat would. Um, if the predefined targets are not known or not available, you gather emails and contacts of all employees using the footprinting we've talked about. Once you have all that, you can generate a script with predefined pretexts. So you can do your social engineering by email, by phone, in person. There are many tools. Metasploit Pro has one. Social Engineering Toolkit has one. There are more than just that. So let's review what we know. Social engineering is used to convince people to disclose confidential information. An attacker will acquire sensitive information or inappropriate access privileges using it. Um, we use it to attack uh, office workers for sensitive company data. Human-based social engineering involves getting information through direct human interaction, whether it's face-to-face -face or on the phone. Computer-based social engineering involves using a computer to get that information, like phishing or, or smishing. Identity theft is when one person steals another person's name and personal information to commit fraud. And the best defense relies on the implementation of good policies and procedures and training, 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 training. So when you're doing social engineering, you need to understand the components of it. You need to leverage those motivation attacks. You can launch a phishing attack to entice targets to leak sensitive info. You could use media other than just email for phishing. Create a convincing forgery of a possible website or a popular website. Capture credentials through login forms on the forged website. I mean, SET and Metasploit Pro will both do that for you. I'll leverage gathered data about people to spearfish specific targets. Consider targeting high-level personnel in your phishing, like consider whaling the CEO. Tell them that uh, you're a vendor that hasn't been paid in 90 days and you really need the money now. I'll use impersonation to make the attacks seem more trustworthy. Use elicitation to get the targets to reveal information. Use hoaxes to make the attacks more convincing. Drop USB drives loaded with malware around the parking lot or inside a facility. Determine how users are going to fall victim to a mistyped U URL. Leverage spam techniques in phishing attacks and determine if it's easy to observe employees without their knowledge. Consider how the environment may, might make tailgating or piggybacking more or less effective. And with that, let's get on to our lab of social engineering.